Chiasto. This will be a very special vlog because I will guide you through a weekend of a startup initiative. But I'm not gonna be the one to pitch you the idea because I'm here at Ankert with Jolt, hey. who is he's the idea guy behind everything, and I have Olivia who's gonna pitch you what's gonna be in this vlog and over the weekend. Hi guys, over the weekend we are having 16 um, groups. The winners, they will get the chance to go to Vienna to the Pioneers Festival. I've been there myself, like, I don't know, four years ago and I got the chance to pitch. But I didn't have these kind of things, like over a weekend with great mentors, they would help me to form my idea into that con concept. So I'm so happy to guide you through what this weekend is about and if you are interested in something you will learn some KT takeaways. So now we're gonna have a drink because it's a get together but after I'm gonna check back tomorrow. Cheers. See ya, mm -hmm. bye. And now we are here, it's Saturday morning, the teams are getting started, they are working with their mentors but I wanted to talk about what are the ingredients and what you need to have a great event. I think I've been to hundreds of events and dozens of weekends and hackathons like this and you know what let's go through it so first off of course you need the team and you meet you met Olivia and you've seen Jolt but you also need great mentors my name is Richie I'm working for higher interest as well my name is Bero I'm a fanatic of education I'm the director of innovations of the Hungarian National Trading House I lived 14 years in the States 11 years in Paris and I came back to help you guys turn passion into profit. Uh, my name is Imre Hild. I spent half of my life in the US, uh, obviously the other half uh, somewhere around here. Um, I built two companies, um, two additional accelerators in the last uh, seven years. The last uh, six years I've worked in London for Imperial College where I've incubated around 60 startups. I feel sad because Budapest is a very beautiful city <laughs> with a lot of beautiful girls, good foods and handsome guys, so it's hard to, <laughs> hard to focus on the project and uh, the next two days. Oh, oh. I would like to ask you to, to focus on your project because that's why we're here and we have to boost uh, the discoverability of your ideas yourselves and, uh, and try to help you to start your own business because it's a, it's a career life, a new kind of career life in this CU region. So these are the mentors, but it's not about the mentors but also who are the teams and what, what is their purpose and why they came here. So let me serve you with some stats for that. So about stats, I have Beryl here who is not, not only a mentor but also a member of the organizing team so please hook us up with some cool stats. Yeah, first of all thank you very much for having me here. Thanks. Um, yeah. We had more than 50 applicants from all around Europe uh, focusing on the Central and Eastern European region. Applicants from 10 different countries. 10 different countries. Yeah, we are really proud to reach out all these people, all these university students with great and very diverse ideas. We had to filter it down to about 30 startups that we had Skype interview with. We have the 14 most promising ones here from five different countries eventually, including Croatia, Romania, uh, Poland, Czech Republic and Hungary. One third of the whole group are females. That's awesome, so it's like a great ratio. 33 percent one to three yes. ratio is a woman and this is awesome. Exactly, and they are founders, they are really innovative minds and uh, well we are really inspired to work with them. Our plan is to select teams from very different industries. We have um, renewable energy, we have education, we have new material, we have smart city and uh, we have I IoT as well. So five different industries. Five different industries, yeah. Eight teams going to Pioneers Festival. Exactly. Get a chance to pitch yeah. on stage. Yeah. We figured you might be able to tell us what's behind the mystery of this mask. As long as the mask is in your possession, you are in great danger. I'm here with the founders of Crustoli. It's so hard to pronounce. Did I do it correctly? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. And we're gonna learn about the biggest takeaways because they've been working with mentors and Jot was uh, one of the mentors you worked with. And I leave it to you. Like, please share your experience. Okay. 
maybe I go first? Go, yeah. Well, as a developer of uh, our product, I think the biggest advantage of this startup campus is that we know how to do presentation, but we don't know how to present in front of the investors. So and that's Joel, totally different. Yeah, that is two totally different things. Like we 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 did like a startup makeover. We had one presentation and when we makeover, we, we do the makeover in only and two days. yeah, in only two days, and it was really help, helpful for us because now we know how to present our product, our idea, in front of the people that are actually going to give us money to make something. My goal was to help them think uh, with an investor's hat on, and we shape uh, the slides and the content to fit the needs around that. Yeah. And now the founders of Foodscan and their mentor Imre, they're gonna share their lessons learned. Hi guys, so Hi. basically our lesson what we learned the most important is that that we have an idea but when somebody who is in the, in the business for more than 20 years and know almost everything about that and it, he have a objective op opinion we feel like uh, we feel like our idea is not that good and and is giving us very very good opinion about what we can improve and what kind of weaknesses does it have because as we are right now we are looking at a sub subjective way so we have no idea about these weaknesses they say think small how do you <laughs> think about that in there yeah absolutely i mean the, these guys i mean they had a, a very good idea to begin with obviously an idea is just a good beginning and uh, the approach with which they wanted to execute was a bit too broad too broad for a small team so my my uh, piece of advice was to focus on some of the most uh, uh, accessible and achievable goals uh, you know some of those small segments that the big guys are not going to actually you know stop and try to execute on uh, and that way they can actually start to make a name for themselves develop a, um, a business proposition that may be interesting later on for potential investors and potential strategic acquirers and now with Agronaut and their mentor, so please share, what is the main takeover, makeover here? We had to make some adjustments, we had to delete unnecessary f uh, slides, uh, we had to uh, change our focus from companies and farmers to only farmers, because mm -hmm. farmers are our main focus. The presentation which uh, the guys sent to me, it was uh, good but not the best. We want to create the best presentation and we did it. Uh, because an investor focus on uh, these slides, focus on these uh, part of the presentation as, as uh, the guy said. So the jury is uh, debating uh, which startup should get the chance to go to Pioneers Festival. So hopefully, in a few, we will find out who's the winner. The event is about to end. We have the winners. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's not for me, but. It's for you guys. Thanks for tuning in and watching. I hope you could learn something and please look up Startup Campus, look up all the initiatives that you can so, so you can learn, you can get mentors, you can network with people and this is what it is about. So if you have questions like where you should apply or how you should apply, please comment in the section. I'm more than happy to help you out or the people you've seen here. And if you are not subscribed already, Hit that button and I'll see you in the next one. See ya, stuff. Exhibition. Metaflora. Agronaut. Tax base. Over a stick. Christuli!